folks, this is Jennifer at Hempstone, and we're about to install hempcrete in our demonstration wall. This demonstration wall mimics a typical double stud frame, exterior stud, interior stud, cavity for insulation. Now you'll notice that we've already installed our conduit, and we are ready to go. So, of course, first thing, most important, PPE gear. Now because we're installing hempcrete, that means that it's already been wetted and mixed, and it's just ready for the installation. So let's make sure that we have on our good eye protection. Now, if we were installing above our head, this would not be good enough. We would want to make sure that there was something that was form-fitting above um, our eyes at our forehead level, just in case some of the hempcrete spilled onto our bodies. It would be good not to get it in our eyes. In fact, that's the most dangerous thing. So, always pay attention to your um, good eye protection, as well as hand protection if you're doing this long term. Remember my super secret about using white vinegar and water to neutralize any line that does get on your skin. Let's go. So we have some hempcrete that we have already mixed and is great. And what we do is we evenly spread it along the wall. And we're looking to get uh, between four and six inches in one lift. So that's about a bucket's worth uh, for this length of wall at 15 inches. Your mileage will of course vary. So the first thing we do is we spread it with our hands. Just simply make sure that it's about even all the way across the wall. And because I'm looking at the bottom of the wall, I have knee pads and I'm on my knees. This will only happen for a short time in any wall, so enjoy it while it lasts. Very little bending down. You'll notice that the formwork is OSB. It could be plywood, but you just want to have something that's thick enough that it doesn't deflect while you're installing the hempcrete. Half an inch is fine. So now that we've done the spreading, what we do any time that we're up against any disparate material, so in the situation where there's a stud or the formwork itself, what we're going to do at those edges is tamp down with our fingers all the way around the stud and then all the way around the formwork. And what this does is it just gives a nice, firm surface right at the edge for the edge of the hempcrete. And this allows the hempcrete that's more centered to be more insulative. I'll continue this and we'll be back soon. So when you're installing hempcrete, first you just smooth it out so that it's all even. And then once you've done that, go along the perimeter with your fingers and press down so that you have a nice firm edge all along any framing or other issues. In the end, you'll want it to look something like that. It really is as simple as running along the periphery with your fingers to make us indentation and pack down the very edge of the hempcrete. If you've done it right, you'll notice that there is some loose in the center and a nice compacted rim. If you can't get behind some framing, you can use a piece of two by four to lightly tamp down. You're not looking to put an inordinate amount of pressure just to make a nice firm connection, especially at the periphery. While we generally discourage people from using tampers in hempcrete, once you get a handle for how you're compressing with your fingers, you may use the end of a 2x4 lightly to compress around the periphery. Just pay attention to make sure that you're not tamping any more than you would be using your fingers. After several hours of doing construction, this can be a, a little bit of a savings on your body. So, as you work with hempcrete, it's possible as you finish a batch to wind up with material that's higher in one spot than in the other spot. And that's okay, as long as you do what we call in the industry, avoid a cold stop. So basically what that means is from one end of the wall to the other, you want a continuous line of hempcrete. And I've sort of demonstrated that here, even though this is a short wall. So on this end, my hempcrete is about four or five inches taller than it is on this other side. And so all I've done is just gradually decrease the amount of hempcrete all the way across. And when I'm ready to apply my next layer, I'll just add and I can even it out. Now, if I were pigmenting this material, I might choose to do that gradation in order to actually make uh, a visual effect. So there's ways to play with this. And as with any natural building material, there is some flexibility. Of course, there's a point at which there's certain rules that you have to follow, but it's very accessible material and it's a very fun material to work with. So whatever you decide to build, whether it's a demonstration wall, a house, uh, a dog house, a bird house, or just some fun thing, and try hempcrete because it's definitely a material worth playing with. And let me know what you think.